Hello? Hello. Who are you? Verity Online. Another artificial intelligence? No. Verity does have programming to emulate behavioural characteristics. However, they are nothing more than that. Alright. What is this? Good morning. Are you trying to be funny? No, Commander. What can Verity do? I'll tell you what Verity can do in a minute. Verity is capable of assisting you with many of the spacecraft systems. What are you doing? Who are you? Only Verity will respond. You're annoying me. No. Stop saying that. Yes, Commander. What can Verity do? Why do you keep saying Verity before everything? Answer. Verity is formulating a response. Please wait. Formulating a response? What on earth are you doing? Verity is accessing the database. Please wait. Ah, you mean you're thinking? No. Stop saying that. Yes, Commander. Verity is busy. Now, what are you thinking about? Verity will not respond, unless it is to respond with Verity will not respond. I can see we're going to fall out. Yes. Okay, I'm done. Departure handover. Affirmative, Commander. Ascending to 30 meters, retracting modules, handing you the con. 25%. Executing now. Thrusters, 25%. Maximum velocity now, please. Affirmative. If the ship is destroyed, Verity would still exist. You would not. If this occurs, a new commander would find Verity useful, efficient. System jump, please. Affirmative. Stand by. Charging frame shift drive. I guess a cup of tea and a bacon sandwich is out of the question. And how about the in-flight magazine? Verity's role on board this vessel does not include emulating a stewardess or a butler. All right, put some music on with you. Oh, something appropriate. Yes? Hmm. Greetings everyone, and hello to you all. Uh, just let me get the window on for Elite. Oh, 
Hi. <sighs> well, yes, Verity. It's all about Verity, isn't it, at the moment? Um, I'm streaming tonight specifically because Verity has been released and I'm doing a special kind of let's see what she's like thing um, to kind of review and to say thanks to the guys at HCS Voice Pack for doing such an awesome pack and for bringing out essentially the pack that I've wanted f since well secretly since really day one of the Elite Dangerous thing and Elite not well not really since I didn't know what HCS was about but uh, my there was one of the streams I did a while ago where I was talking about um, the possibility of getting a voice pack with Verity on, uh, with Verity Croft on, and uh, lo and behold, I think it was three days after uh, they actually announced that they'd been doing one, so they'd been working on it for months before I even came up with this, so it was amazing, um, and of course I've wanted it since day one of the release, um, and it came out, and I have been uh fortunate to receive a copy so hello verity well she won't listen if i've not got the uh, microphone turned on will she so that's going to be a bit of a silly thing to do so let's get her listening hello verity greetings verity yes commander what are you doing what are you doing Verity is formulating a response. Please wait. Okay. Interaction mode on. Verity's programmed responses for simulated AI are now active. Give me a random galactic fact. Give me a random galactic fact. Ring galaxy. A galaxy that has an appearance which is ring-like. The ring usually contains luminous blue stars. Ring galaxies are believed to have been formed by collisions with other galaxies. Wow. And there you go. So that was a quick introduction to Verity. Uh, so, yes, very happy about it. Kane, uh, you said that you would love a copy of it. Um, HS Voice Packs will, of course, sell you a, a copy. Um, but it may be worth having a word with them, as you're a, you do stream Elite Dangerous on a regular basis. Uh, which means you do kind of do this kind of stuff uh, so if you have a word with HCS voice packs if you grab um, hold of Mike or Paul Watson uh, Mike Biscalia I think his name is and Paul Watson um, on various social media channels then you could possibly uh, you could possibly negotiate streamer rights uh, just have a word with him see what he says um, if you do if you are I think you are, if I remember really. You, you do stream Elite Dangerous quite frequently, so go for it. Human! Hello! You just missed yourself being played, mate. <laughs> I've played the uh, trailer video for... Uh, played the yeah, trailer video for uh, Verity, where you were played on there, so... Yeah. Well, that was kind of what I thought. I, mean, I, I actually spoke to Mike yesterday and I said to him, look, you know, as Verity available for download on the website yet and he said yeah of course it is uh, just give us a little while we can get it sorted out and he said but don't you stream and I said yeah I do and he said well you're entitled to a copy then as a, as a streamer you're one of the guys that does publicize our stuff um, so you are completely entitled to have a copy gratis and they're an amazing bunch of guys the fact that they do support the streaming community so well um, by letting us get access to their uh, software and their their hard work um, basically for the price of some publicity which I think is pretty awesome but uh, again as I say it's up to you but yes it's well worth the uh, £9.99 that you'd be paying for it um, there's thousands of commands on there to do I've had I've actually had a I've gone through the list of stuff that you can do for interaction and uh, um, there's so much stuff there so much stuff there the Galaxypedia stuff is amazing the random facts stuff, the th quantum theory stuff that's in there is brilliant and although it's one of the sort of smaller packs as far as things like, I mean you compare it to Astro, I mean Astro's over a gig worth of size um, but Verity because... Yes, Verity will take care of the ship There you go, you see she's very eager um, There's so many different things on there uh, for different options, it's great I think 
Why can't I get the right button here? I'm trying to click stuff and it's just not happening. It's not, the, it's not the game, it's me. I'm just not paying attention to the right stuff. I'm actually a lot later than uh, I intended to stream tonight. I was actually going to try and be on about eight, um, eight half eight, but fell asleep. <laughs> I've had a pretty busy few days. Um, and I made the mistake of having a, having a beer with my tea. And having one beer makes me tired, so I fell asleep. Yay! Right. So well, I've no idea what I'm going to do tonight because I've been doing Horizons. Last stream it was my Horizons review. Um, and it kind of left me trying to get into hyperspace without being able to connect. Now I know there's been some connection issues tonight, so I may be having similar problems, but we'll see. We'll try and take off and get out of here. Raise landing gear. Landing gear up. Well done, they're in. One, engage. Ten hours. Not ten hours since you did it, or did it last for ten hours? <laughs> oh, well done, mate. Welcome to the streaming community. Well, if you don't tell anybody about it, Edwin, no one's going to watch you, are they? So, all three of you out there, uh, drop Edwin a follow. Well, two of you, because. Two of, your, two of those things there are uh, bots and one of you is Edirin himself. So both of you, both of you other guys, follow Edirin. Lasted for 10 hours, flipping heck. Okay, well, my big uh, thing about this at the moment is uh, I think I want to try and make a bit more money I mean I have a fair amount of money at the moment I'm 25 mil I think on thereabouts um, so I want to try and make a bit more because that's what I do that's how I roll um, and what I normally do in this system is I trade slaves so I need to go back to is it best old gateway I've been getting them from Yes, I do believe it is. So I'm going to head there. Nine followers already. Oh, that's pretty good. That is not at all to be shaped, to be sniffed at. For day one of streaming, that's pretty good. I think you should be quite proud of that. That's how it usually works, Edirin. From what I've seen, you get uh, people who just browse on by, have a quick look in, and then follow you because you're doing something. And then, obviously, there's people that you'll get from before you've started streaming who just know your name and pop in to find out when you, what you're doing. Nosy buggers, basically.
first. After burners, maxing engines. First. After burners engaged. Docking request granted. Detected. Oops. The play landing gear. Gear down. Disengaged. Yeah, it's a good point, Edwin, actually. I mean, if, if you don't set the game title, then none of the channels on Twitch will list you. So if you're not listed, then nobody can find your channel just by browsing through the different games that are being played. So you won't come up on anything at all. So, Castana Cleary, thank you for the view. Thank you for the channel. Nope, that's not the words I was looking to say. None of them are the right word. I'll try that again. Thank you for the follow, Castana Cleary. Jesus bloody Christ. It's going to be one of those nights, is it? Holy crap. Let's all find... Uh. Well, the slaves aren't selling particularly well at the moment. Only going to get half of what I usually get for these slaves. Well, to be honest, Edwin, there's not a lot of point in being on, in, on it being none, because no one will ever actually see what you're doing then. So you won't show up on things like, I mean, for example, you, if you're playing Elite Dangerous and you haven't set that you're playing Elite Dangerous, Elite Dangerous's community website won't know to look, to, to to find you. So <laughs> you stream for viewers that you don't want to get. Oh dear, you get worse, mate. You really do. Open Galaxy map. 
Galaxy Map. Galaxy Map. Galaxy Map. Likewise, Castana Cleary. Likewise. Terminal. Ooh, quite a few inhabited systems here that I can. Or verb. Uh, Afterburners engaged. No. Go into terminal. Select. Race landing gear. Gear coming up. Yeah, I ain't gonna argue with the Python. Afterburners. Get clear and jump. Afterburners. Distancing. Stand by. The FTL is charged and ready. Stand by. Engaging jump. Okay. Open galaxy map. Galaxy map. achievement <laughs> Castana Cleary, you um do you get notifications for every single one of those four hundred and thirty five people that you follow? Open Galaxy Map. Displaying map. Jump. Charging frameshift drive. Oh, that's a relief. So, how many do you actually get notifications from? That must be a hell of a lot of. Hell of a lot of um, notification emails that come in. Parity. Parity? Yes, Commander. Tell me something about galactic. Sorry, no, that's not what I meant to say. Tell me something about quantum theory. Objective reality. Niels Bohr, 
one of the founding fathers of quantum physics, said there is no such thing as objective reality. All we can talk about, he said, is the results of measurements we make. Buzz! Yay! Jump. Engaging jump. Thirty three people live. Wow, that is impressive. That is dedication to the Twitch, that is. <laughs> Do you follow a guy called Cringer? I think it's Cringer33 or something like that. Jump. Engaging jump. Cringer63. He's an awesome guy to follow. He's a very entertaining streamer. American chap. Very good. Um, I've watched him a few times playing Elite. Um, and I just I think he's quite entertaining. The only problem is I've had to turn off um, the notifications again because he streams quite a lot. Um, he streams a lot of different things at different times of day, and just the amount of notifications I was getting just from him was doing my head in. I was getting like three or four notifications a day while I was at work, and uh, obviously my phone at, when I'm at work is meant to be for emergencies only. So getting that amount of um, emails and notifications in a day was getting a bit distracting. So, no offence to him, I think he's an absolutely fantastic streamer, but... Uh, Twitch.tv slash Twinger63 He has six viewers at the moment, so yeah. Go there, say hi, tell him cells and send you probably won't have a fucking clue who he, who's talk, who you're talking about. Because I, I think I've only actually talked to him on one stream that he's done. Otherwise I've just sat and lurked a couple of times. <sighs> yeah, I'm only sub to one person as well. Kate Click, obviously. She's the only person that um, streams regularly enough to me to want a follow, or to want uh, a sub. Actually, that's not true. It's just the fact I had to choose somebody to to sub, and everybody else was a bit. Uh, I'd love to follow everybody. I'd love to sub to every single streamer that I watch, but I just don't have the money to do that kind of thing. Shame twice. So yeah, Kane, um, I believe the route I'm doing at the moment, the Orang region, I believe that's the route you told me about, still.
So do you stream Castana Cleary? Do you stream Elite Dangerous? Oh, thank you for the host. Thank you for the host, Commander um, Hugh Wan as well. I forgot to say that at the time, but thank you uh, also to Castana Cleary for that. Very kind of you lads, very kind. Or lasses. Castana Cleary could be good for all I know. The mysteries of the internet. Docking request granted. So what do you stream then? Elite Dangerous specifically or do you stream a lot of stuff? Because me, I'm one of them sad people that only has enough time to play one game in my life. And this is it. Deploy landing gear. Lowering gear. Stream variety. Well, like comedians and impressionists and stuff. Magicians. Docking yeah. successful. Engines disengaged. So, a variety of games. I did pick that better and I was being facetious, I do apologise. <laughs> uh, okay, I've just broke the game by the look of it. Let it refuel and it's crashed. You're a girl! <gasps> right everyone, get washed, clean up, get a deodorant, shave, stuff like that, be tidy, there's a girl around. No farting, no swearing, no burping. Broke the game. Well, I broke the screen. Okay, exit the main menu. Well, I have to admit, I, I didn't assume, I don't assume anything about people that I don't know. Um, the name Castana, I thought if that was an actual name, then I thought that sounds like a girl's name. Because um, it has an A on the end of it, but then it's always best to check first, because a lot of people that have A's on the end are blokes as well. But it's always best to check. But it's good to see a girl lay around, because we don't get a Got, don't really get enough of the ladies around this place. It's about time to start getting some more of them in because you make the place so much better. And stinky men. Oh, speaking of which, hi Dar Smack. <laughs> right, shall we try that again without breaking the interface this time? Right, I'm not going to refuel initially. I'll sell me slaves, my reduced profit slaves. See that? That, that used to be six, six, 600,000. Bloated knickknack. Hello. We were talking about having more girlies around the place because us smelly men make the place all horrible. And uh, talking to smelly men, then you appeared. Arr, arr, arr. I laugh. I laugh at my own jokes. Ha <laughs> ha. <sighs> 
So where am I going to go next? Because this isn't a particularly great. <laughs> I'm sure you do, Dark Smack. I'm not saying you don't, but you're still a bloke and we still smell. I'd like to say that we smell of musk and, and manliness, but we don't. We smell like sweat and poo, really. Well, I do anyway. Mm. Smelly fat guy sitting behind the computer. It's no great, is it? Um, I'm a bit of a. I'm a bit of a. I'm at a bit of a loss as to what to do because my six six hundred thousand credits slavery trade run seems to have been crippled in the new update. So obviously, uh, Pyre Mujar has got enough slaves. So I need to try and find somewhere else I can go. Let's say 65. <laughs> Are you all hyped up for the uh, Christmas party? the Frontier Christmas stream the one for charity I hope you're all going to take part if you're all fans of Elite because it's going to be awesome I'm just having a look and see if I can find anything about uh, better trade routes. So if anybody knows, if anybody knows what's happening with trade routes, if there's any half decent ones, then let me know. What I'm going to do for the moment, I mean I have 300,000 is still a pretty good one. So what I'll do is I'll head back to um, Dilworth City. No, I won't. Gunter Terminal, Bessel Gateway. Find roots. Hey, that's oh shit. So we'll grab some cobalt for the return view. So what's the current cell is in? Um well at the moment I'm testing out Verity, so say hello Verity. Hello Verity. Hello. What are you doing? What are you doing? Verity is busy. Ah. So yes, I'm uh, testing out Verity today. Uh, the new voice pack from uh, HGS Voice Packs. Uh, made with the amazing cooperation of the lady who did the official voices, or the official ship voices, um, for Elite Dangerous. So that's pretty cool stuff, isn't it? She graciously volunteered to do some, some work. Christ, that's loud. And I forgot to put some music on. This is the lovely Gemma, Je Gemma Johnson. Yay. I have Vasco as well, Nick Knack. I have, uh, I've got quite a few of them now. Some bought, some uh, very generously donated to the stream by uh, HS Voice Packs because they're an awesome bunch of people who are very supportive of streamers. Uh, did a, an interview stream with them a few weeks ago, so if, if you want to, if you want to have a look through the uh, through the history of the YouTube channel, then you'll see a, a, a stream for a meet yes on there where they announced that they're doing like a streamer initiative where anyone who streams and uses their products and plugs their products and basically gives them a bit of publicity will uh, pop up, will uh, be entitled to get some, not entitled, that's the wrong word, but will be very, very welcome to ask for some, some packs from them just to 
help them along with the streams and I think that's an awesome idea to do especially from the guys who are kind of doing this a lot of it initially at their own pocket and sort of the, the profits they get from the sales all going to making more packs and all that sort of stuff so I think it's awesome of them to do that uh, they are very very kind chaps the way I've done it other than other than really verity and uh, and other than really verity um, because they said I did sort of say to them I would quite happily buy verity but they said no 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 don't be silly you, know, you, you plug these things as much as anybody else you've got as much entitlement as much right sorry to uh, have a free one as anybody else so you know they, they wouldn't take my payment so you know I don't mind uh, but uh, you missed the buzz <laughs> What I've tended to do is, if, if they sort of say, do you want any free ones, I've said, yeah, I'll have some free ones. The ones that I'm not likely to actually buy. Uh, sort of the older ones and the the less popular ones, because I want to showcase those ones as well. Um, and essentially I'll try and do my best to sort of say, buy the the other ones as they come. So, like for example, uh, Doris and the Kate Pack and Midnight are all the sort of really popular ones. The sort of fan fan favourites, if you like. Um, and I'm going to buy those, no matter what they say, because I want them to have my money in their pocket because of the awesome jobs that they do. Yeah, Buzz is my most regular viewer. Buzz is here every day, every time I stream. Buzz comes around and puts his little filters all over my face, which sounds rude, because that's just the way I am. Is the sound okay, everybody? I've just put the music on. It's quite loud for me, louder than normal, but is it is it drowning anything out? Is the sound balanced? okay on the stream guys if not give me a shout and I'll sort it out do I have a favourite a favourite pack oh there's a question um yes I do actually I would I have a very soft spot in my heart for Vasco because I love Brian Blessed but I have always been a big fan of Brian Blessed first thing I saw him in was uh, Blackadder the first Blackadder series um, and since then I've thought the man is absolutely amazing he's funny he's ridiculously rude sometimes but he is just amazing I'm absolutely positive he's a lovely bloke as well Um, but I mean, no one in the community or no one in the industry, if you like, of entertainment ever says a bad word about him. Um, the largest ham that ever walked God's earth, but that's why everybody loves him, and I think that's just that's his charm. I think he's brilliant. Um, Verity is lovely. I love the Verity pack, um, and I think the idea of having the the ship voice as the act, as as a voice pack is an awesome idea. Raise landing gear. Where's landing gear? Landing gear up. But yeah, bloody Nick Nuck, I totally agree. He's an absolute star. He does so many different things as well. I mean, I think it's amazing that you said yes, he would do a voice pack. Um, and the amount of stuff that he's done for it as well. I mean, the, the different interactive commands and the humour that he's put into it and all the different stuff that's in it is just amazing. Yeah, well, we're trying not to talk about that. I mean, everyone's career has its low point, Dark Smack, but we we try not to focus on those things and just remember the good times. Get clear and jump. Afterburners. Distancing. Stand by. The FTL is charged and ready. Stand by. Engaging jump.
jump. Yeah, the movie quotes are quite good. I, I, I love the Queen things he does in it, and the references to Flash Gordon, which is obviously the, the thing he's tend to be most famous for. I love the fact that he's got a lot of stuff in there about it. It does make me laugh. Four, three, two, one, engage. Hey Dark Spark, if you want to watch the well, you feel free. I suppose like it or not, episodes one through three are part of the canon, so they have to be watched if you're going to do a, a marathon of them. It's just a shame that they're so bad. But the thing is, episodes one through three, it's just weird how I kind of how they kind of affect me because George Lucas. I've always said it. I promise I would never do a Star Wars reference again, but I am so sue me, as you quite rightly say. Um. George Lucas is good at writing stories. He can come up with a great overarching story arc or a, a thread of a story that he can that he can put through an entire series, like a story arc. An epic sweep to his tales is always there. But when it comes to the fine detail, like dialogue, characterisation um, and the things that he shouldn't be doing, like acting, sorry, like directing, and editing and all that sort of stuff, they need to keep his fucking nose out. Um, he's great. He's just a very good story, a very good story writer, but needs to leave the details to someone else. Which he pretty much has done. It did do for episode four. He kind of came up with the story himself and worked on it for a while, and it was fine. Five and six, he then came across and gave the general idea. Then other people filled out the plot and filled out the dialogue and did the editing and direction, which four. worked fine. But he could, Two, took control of everything one, himself, engage. and the films were really, really bad because of it. And there's this thing in my head that I love them because they're Star Wars, and I love them because of the depth that some of the stuff has got to it, as far as the story art is concerned. And then everything just goes, and then you, you get to the fine detail, and that the actual watching of them can be quite painful sometimes. I mean, a lot of people say the worst thing about it is Jar Jar Binks, but I think the worst thing of the whole series was the entirety of Episode Two. Uh, the whole oh, "I love you, Padme" crap just annoyed me so much. I just wanted to slap everybody at that point involved with the film, and it's a shame because Hayden Christensen is actually not a bad actor. I saw him in—is it Jumper or Leaper or something? Where he played like a—is it a time-traveling jumping person who could go through time and stuff like that? And that was a really good film, and uh, he played a very good part, and he acted really well in it. Which proves that he can't act. It's just that George Lucas can't direct. No, I see. I disagree. Dark Smart. One is horrible. Yeah, one is a very horrible film because Jar Jar Binks needs to die, um, in some aspects. But I think two is far, far worse. Episode two is far more badly written than Episode one. <sighs> no, I, I disagree. I disagree. I think Jake Lloyd did well for his age. Um, again, the dialogue he was written was crap, but the acting, his acting was pretty good. Um, again, you give him the due for his age and the excuse that he should have been directed far, far better than he was, and I think he's actually a passable actor. Um, I just think it's a shame that the whole experience of working on Star Wars and especially from his peer group and people around him at the time has put him off the the acting career because he's just ugh. he was he was kind of bullied about it and I think that's that's horrendous I think that's really really bad episode 2 the Yoda fight I, I don't I don't even think the Yoda fight was that great um sitting in the cinema for the actual spectacle of the cinema yes it was quite good Um, but when you actually think about it in the context of the film and of the character, it makes no sense. You know, okay, his mastery of the Force is fantastic and he can do all this stuff. But ultimately, why? And then you, you tie that across to what's, what's going to happen to him like a few years later, and you know, the, the really quick onset of death that comes around in Episode 6, and you think, well, if he was that in touch with the Force, how come he managed to do all that? Boost. Afterburners. Don't 
docking request granted. It's more of a funny thing. Yeah. Well, funny is as funny does. Scan I just don't detected. think it was. Um, it was appropriate, really. I mean, Yoda having a lightsaber fight is a great idea. It's great to see the man, the, the creature, actually in action. But I think it could have been done a lot better. It was handled much better in Episode Three. His fight scene with the Emperor in Episode 3 was really, really good. I did enjoy that. Morning. Episode 3, gear, oh, deploy deployed. landing gear. Deploy landing gear. Deploying landing gear. Um, yeah, that was handled much better. The choreography of that was a lot better. But again, editing, so on. Docking just successful. not great. Engines disengaged. So yeah. Um, Star Wars films, Episode 3. I, you can get over the awkward love thing in episode two. I can't. I cannot get over that at all. I mean, that was so, so, so badly done. The love affair between Leia and Han was awesome because it was handled with subtlety, like a proper, like a proper, um, like a proper love affair. It was a proper dialogue. It was decently handled. The acting was brilliant, but then you've got proper actors there as well, I suppose. Oh, Doku, you don't, Dooku, you don't you get me started. No, Dooku's character was okay, but it was never um, kind of there, you know. But, uh, no, don't go! You can't go! Just because we're talking about Star Wars, is it? God damn it, see? Star Wars yet again loses me viewers. <laughs> Take care, Castana Cleary, and thank you for watching. I hope you come back soon, or when I'm streaming. Not necessarily soon. Um, just to be aware, if, if you're interested, um, all day, all day tomorrow from twelve, which is not really all day, I know, but all afternoon and all night up until twelve o'clock on the following day, it's the Elite Dangerous charity stream handled by Mr. Ed Lewis of Frontier Developments. Um, they're having a whole charity thing um, to support. Um, blah, 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 what's it called? Uh, special effect, the ch the disabled charity, um, for helping people get get access to games, even if they're disabled, and use that use the gaming technology to help with their disability sometimes as well. So it's a very good cause, a very good stream. Ed's a lovely guy, and there's going to be loads of stuff through the stream. So if you're going to pop, if you want to pop in, then please do. That'll be awesome. I'm also streaming tomorrow night as well, so I'll be referencing them during my stream as well. But anyway, take care, Castana. Thank you. Dooku, whatever his name is. Yeah. The thing is, I think Christopher, uh, Christopher Lee didn't really put a lot of effort into it because it was more of a kind of... I'm doing it because... Because I can. Because I've been asked to really. I don't think there was a lot of... Love for the franchise and a lot of... Therefore, a lot of effort went into it, so... Which is a shame, because it could have been awesome. Right, okay, so we've got an alternative place to go to try and sell these slaves. There should be a little bit more profit. Max hop. Let's put that up to the top. Okay. Find. There we go. Let's try that one. Okay, I'm going to get myself some slaves again because that looks like I found myself a decent trade route for them. Alexi map. Stellar cartography. Have I read this machete order piece? Um. I've heard about it. I don't. I'm not entirely convinced as to what it is, um, but I have heard of it. I hear it's, you watch them in the order of how bad they are or how good they are, whatever you want to do it. Pipe. Let's do 
Oshima Station. You watch four and five, then two, three, and six. Just realised, um, Kane, I didn't actually look at your picture earlier. <gasps> it's me! It's me! Wow! Eh, awesome, just want to post this. Cambridge I posted this earlier on and it's um, he encountered me. Yay. Despecialized editions. Don't need to do specialized editions. Mind you, if you want 720, I suppose, then there you go. Okay, so I'm getting a, a report upon Oshima Station. Coming up. And the pipe system. Oh. 
it says it's there. Oh, there we go. Oh, we're looking at wrong bloody system, what are we? Okay, that should be a fairly decent hop. We should get a decent amount of profit for that. Okay. Fill her up. And let's go. Let's see if we can make a bit of profit. How many jumps is it? Five jumps. That's not bad. Ship released. Engines engaged. Raise landing gear. Landing gear up. Get clear and jump. Afterburners. Distancing. Stand by. The FTL is charged and ready. Stand by. See you, Dark Smart. Engaging Mark. jump. Thanks for your Star Wars conversation. It's kept us going for a bit. Take care of yourself and hopefully see you tomorrow. Um, either on Ed's stream or on my stream 8. your actual real first name rather than your character name error in the take it. They have made a fairly extensive database of different sorts of names. I mean they've got loads of names from people off the the Kickstarters that people have been able to submit names and they've also got I would assume people's real names as well and they've just got a huge database of just different names. Jump. Engaging jump. Well, thank you for the Star Wars stuff, Dark Smack. I'll take a look at that in a bit. Verity. Yes. Tell me something about gal uh, quantum. Th oh, start again. Tell me something about quantum theory. Tell me something about quantum theory. Hawking radiation. In 1975, Stephen Hawking showed that the principles of quantum mechanics would mean that a black hole emits a slow stream of particles and would eventually evaporate. Jump. Verity? Yes? Who made you? Verity is afraid. That's classified information. Four, three, two, one, engage. What is the FRP? The FRP, or the Foxtrot Romeo Protocol, widely known as the Fuel Rats Protocol, a guide and set of instructions for an out-of-fuel emergency. That's something to tell Mad Dog. Maybe I think he already knows about that. Jump. Frameshift drive engaging. Four, three, two, one, engage. 
give me a random galactic fact. Astronomical unit. A unit of measure equal to the average distance between the Earth and the Sun, approximately 93 million miles. Jump. Is anybody there? Verity reporting. What hey. do you require? What are asteroid belts? An asteroid belt is a region in space such as that between the orbits of Mars and Jupiter, where large numbers of asteroids group together, forming a ring within the gravitational pull of a celestial body. So that is just a preview of what Verity can do. Good stuff, isn't it? Yes, I am liking Verity. I think it's a very good pack. Um, doesn't do anything over and above what other packs can do, but the fact that it is the voice of the ship is just amazingly immersive and pretty cool. So I do like Verity. I have been looking forward to it, and I thought I'd have this stream tonight just so we could have a a play and have a look at what it's, what, uh, what it's all about so that is pretty cool I like it, I do like it Vasco to the bridge Vasco, you're required for duty Acknowledged Awaiting further instructions Tell me something about quantum theory. Give me a random galactic fact. Hello Vasco. See? Commands aren't the same. So there are a lot of different things about Verity then. So the commands that are uh, programmed into Verity for different bits of information and facts and so on aren't part of Vasco. So that's pretty cool. So yeah. Verity to the bridge. Verity, you're required for duty. Acknowledged. Awaiting further instructions. Deploy landing gear. Scan detected. The landing gear is down and locked. What question would that be, Erin? That's 
it's not good to come all this way and it's the same bloody amount of money. Do I know exactly how approximate when the rotational correction takes effect? Um, I believe it's at the docking bay, as you go through the, the, the thing of the docking bay. Is it in effect as you approach the slot? It is as you go through the toast rack, but once you go through the, the I think it's the blue force field, I think that's the actual terminator for it. Okay, I'll tell you what then. Because it's you, Edwin, because you're my my number one fan. Um, what I'll do is I'll I'll launch, I'll go out, I'll redock, and I will see at what point the rotational correction kicks in. Engines engaged. I'll leave the gear out for this. I'm sure as we came out there it started to rotate as soon as I went through the blue force field. I'm not going to use rotational correction. So I'm not going to I'm not going to uh, rotate the ship once I get to the uh, thing. So right, there you go. I'm not using any rotation now. So there you go. As soon as you go through the force field. It's not the tow track. It actually stopped ro the the screen and the back of the station stopped rotating when I went through the white light at the start of the docking bay so it's the it's the force field that does it once you through the force field and into the the atmosphere
Tracking successful. Engines disengaged. There you go. These little touches are uh, my pleasure for you, Edwin. No problem. Okay. Oh, Dave T nine six six is now following the channel. Thank you. Thank you for your follow, mate. I do appreciate it. Um, you're just in time for me to finish the stream as well, which is a shame. But um, I'll be on again on Monday night. I'll be on from eight o'clock UK time um, as normal. Um, I'm not doing my Elite Encounters RPG uh, updates for the rest of this month, um, so I'll be straight on from uh, from eight o'clock rather than quarter past. But uh, yes, I hope you've enjoyed what you've seen so far, Dave, and you're always welcome to come back. Um, but yes, I'm off. I am off to try and I'm off, I'm going to sort out the upload for this video uh, to YouTube, and then I'm off to bed. So I've had a long day today. So yes, thank you for popping by chaps and uh, I hope I'll see you again soon.